The moon was just in Taurus. And now the moon has moseyed on over to hang out with Sagittarius. Gemini. It's because Sagittarius has so much to do with everything right now. Because we're in Sagittarius season and soon it will be Capricorn season. And that firepower that's burning away with slower vibrational. Boy, I just burnt my mouth on some tea. Let's see what's happening. We're grounding our best lives here. We're grounding our abundance. That's so many cards. And you know what? We're going to get a reshuffle. We're going to start over here instead. So be the flow of the reading. Well, look at that. We have the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Talking about that Sagittarius energy, the fire power. We're grounding our healing. And we're experiencing here what's lower vibrational being burnt away in order to heal and expand, create holistic health. There's communication here. There's a crown chakra, a third eye activation, and there's the communication. It's connected, something it's going to be spoken. A truth that's going to be spoken is connected to the dark, but it's freeing. It's like the key. It's the key to the kiss. It's the key to... I even see marriage proposals for some people. Engagement. Communication for sure. Of some sort. But it's going to be for healing. Well, I was going to say this is a lot of cards and I uh, hope you could just see that, but the Queen of Pentacles just made her self twist and fall right on top of the seven of wands so these cards are definitely for you okay there was an ending there's the ten of swords and it was an emotional ending connected to emotions but this is freedom this is from the dark to the light and it's a connect it's a solar plexus healing that is a reconnection a recalibration to the third eye and then it shoots through to the crown and there's the knight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is on a mission it's just on a spiritual quest on a mission to expand and it's through pain in order to create with the light and look she has that scythe so she can cut away what's lower vibrational, what's not right for her, what's not serving her. And I think for some joining me here, it was a masculine. And this is allowing a re reconnection to the masculine within. Because something becomes heart-centered and there is a reconnection. We have the Knight of Cups and this is creating with love, with our divine blueprint. This is creating with Metatron, Metatron's cube and the, the two tetrahedrons, thanks to the Gemini full moon. We're building with them. And it's connected to the light, the hierophant, the connection between the masculine and feminine spirituality. 
And I love how the Hierophant is pointing up. And the light is right there. And this is this is connecting the heavens to the earth th from within and the light within. And that's connected to the Queen of Pentacles. That's the key. She has the key to her, those gates right there and that's the key to her destiny. It was through the darkness, a transformation and it was over time. This transformation is over time. Laying the foundations, doing the groundwork. And it was, there it is, so beautiful. The three of swords, the heartbreak. But this is the removal. Like, look, she's literally removed her heart. And there's a knife in one hand. And a bird. She's being sewn back together. And there's the lovers. The connection between the masculine and feminine restored true love, wholeness, happiness from within to without. And there, there's the kiss. And it all happened through the Six of Wands. This is healing through the dark to create with the light. And this is the experience of that. And it's with the Magician. Really creating with our light. That Magician, she's creating with her light. And it's all to destroy, to create, to create, to destroy. Yin and Yang and flow. The energy of the Taurus, you know, the two tetrahedrons coming together of the masculine and feminine energies to create a new pattern. And I love it. Angel de la Nu. Angel of the night. Transformation. Let's we'll see what's being activated here. The Queen of Earth, there it is, confirmation. Thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. And that's true self. And look at that Queen of Wands and how she's creating. How she's creating. And that's with transformation. And look at all the energies, all the energies she's using to create with. The page of water, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. And this is straight truth because this is where the energy shifted right here. And now we have the Knight of Cups. And the Page of Cups. Page of Water. This, These energies are in alignment. And I love that this night is represented by the feminine energy right here. And it's in creation through the heart. Through our divine blueprints. Through our patterning. Through our new patterning. That's our new patterning. Of connection this is healing with self then a, a deeper connection to our psychic abilities our connection our gifts and we're expanding because there's Something to do with a relationship, but it's not in an alignment yet. We have the seven of air and it's saying that something needs to, there's a revision. There's more going on than meets the eye. There's poor timing at hand. And then we have the ace of water, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, 
and enhanced intuition a new home and what I'm really getting a feeling is like whatever is happening is enhancing your gifts your intuition your spiritual growth and that's what is creating and allowing connection within your universe and it's connecting the masculine and feminine and restoring wholeness and it's love The emperor is right there. Archangel Michael. Organization and logic. Structure and discipline leadership. Okay. Yep. Woo. You know what? I wasn't planning on flipping these cards over because I just wanted to get one message. But we're going to take it because I. it ties into what's happening here. Fertility. The frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative, and more joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. And that's what's happening. Because now we have romantic love. The frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious lover. So we're reflecting love and we are experiencing it. And that's the wholeness. And I love it. There's tantric journey and this is definitely connected to this. Actually, I'm going to put it like this while that airplane flies by here. So you can really get the visualization. The frequency of Tantric Journey helps us to unlock the hidden knowledge and wisdom that we intrinsically hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our sensual experiences with ourselves and with another sensual experiences with ourselves and with another Ooh, this reading is lit it's lit with love taurus i love it you're grounding love and i feel so connected to your expansion and it's such a beautiful feeling i just want to go on and create with this energy that i'm feeling right now thank you thank you for that Thank you guys for joining me. Much love and healing vibes sent your way to create with today. And I really feel like someone needs to hear this message right now. Allowance. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open with whatever comes our way. Without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. Allowance. Allow it. Take care.